Hi everyone, welcome back to the final video of the character modeling series. In this video, I will be finishing up the clothing of the character, as well as the hair, the teeth, um, the eyelashes, and etc. So here we go! Okay, so this is where we left off last time. Um, I've took, taken the eyes from a separate project, you know, the, the first video I've made. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to make eyes, so I just, I just didn't think I needed to make another video for it. And for the eyelashes, I'm just going to extrude the um, edge loop of the inside of the eye. Uh, sorry, duplicate it. And then extrude it outwards. So I'm going to... And then delete the two corner vertices so that you have an upper and lower eyelash part. Um, for the inside of the mouth, I forgot to record the video of me making it. But you pretty much take the mouth and extrude it backwards into the, into the throat. And then to make the tongue, you take the faces at the bottom and then extrude them upwards and outwards. That's pretty much it. So right now I'm taking the faces on the top and bottom of this mouthpiece and scaling them in. This will create like a plain feel, uh, a plane so that you can put the teeth on. To make the teeth it's pretty easy. You take a cube and you just add a subdivision surface, shade it smooth and pull the points around. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm only gonna create a quarter of the teeth because then I can mirror it in the you know z-axis and then marry it in the, the plane for the molar teeth um, it's even easier you just take a cube and pull one of the points in like I did now shade it smooth and kind of place them in like a row and then you just need to put this with a character as you saw uh, when I moved back to this scene the, the, the whole character moved a little bit and the reason of this was because I didn't actually um, reset the, the, the origin of the uh, character. So in object mode, just do control A and then all transformations. So to make sure you reset everything to zeros. For the hair, um, I've taken the whole sculpt and kind of extruded it out a little bit just to see where the hairline ends. I'll delete that later. But right now I'm creating kind of the, the little bits of strands of hair that comes out in the fringe. And then make a mirror modifier and that will look it looks really bad right now but hopefully it'll be good um, for the hair there's a lot of tutorials but again you create kind of a, a bezier circle and then you take a path and then you make sure that the path is the bezier object of the path is these this shape of this rectangular shape that I've created And then it's just about kind of pulling stuff around and putting it onto the face, onto the head. Again, I'm going to mirror everything, so I only need it really to do it on one side of the body. You can scale um, the thickness of the hair by pretty much doing um, Alt S. To make extra strands, you can see right now I'm trying to make extra strands of the hair to make it look more realistic. For that one, you just need to duplicate some vertices on the bezier circle, and then that will make sure that it will, you know, you'll create more extra strands of hair. So for the shirt right now, I just kind of took all the vertices around the chest torso area, duplicate them, scale them up a bit, and then kind of move some points around and make it pretty much uh, less like a body and more smoothed out. For that, you can use a sculpting brush. And I kind of just wanted to give her a really simple t-shirt and like a tank top. So I just cut, uh, extruded the points up on one side and over the shoulders. And after some point pulling, that's pretty much all I really wanted to do with the shirt. I think in the future I might do a series on clothes modeling, where I just see what kind of weird shapes we can come up with. And you can use a sculpting brush to create some folds on the shirt. So to do that, you just use draw and then, as I'm doing now, just kind of 
moving it around. The more vertices you have, the more detail you can have with the, with the folds. But because my mesh is not very detailed, because the shirt I wanted to just have as little vertices as possible, I'm not going to give it too much of a crease. Just a little bit to make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, cool. So that's, I think that's pretty fun. Okay, and then for the, the, the trousers, Again, take the relevant vertices, duplicate them, scale them up, separate them as an object so you can work with them separately, and pretty much do exactly what I did with the shirt. Use a sculpting brush and etc. So I wanted to create jeans, and so for jeans you have you know a lot of ex extra pieces that come with it on the side picture as you can see. So for that all I did was exactly as I did before, take some vertices, um, duplicate them, extrude them, oh, sorry, not extrude, duplicate them, separate them as objects, and then just kind of shape them to what it should look like. Because later on when we texture everything, um, we want these to kind of look more prominent. Well, I worked on the back pocket first, because that one's fine, you just have two objects expanded out. But for the front pockets, I kind of just made um, a slight line. That, I'll sh that you'll see in a bit. Try that again, didn't really work very well. So yeah, I used the sculpting. So as you can see, I just kind of took two straps, straps and then made them look like side pockets. It'll look better when you texture it. And now I'm just kind of sculpting, pulling, um, making it creased to make it look more like jeans and not skin. some finishing touches and it's just adding more details I think there was a big problem where every time I went to a different um, screen or restart a blender some pieces started moving around and to fix all of that you just make sure you're in object mode select everything, control A, and then reset all the transformations. And that usually fixes it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. And here is the final results. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, well, this will be the next series, we're going to start UV unwrapping and texturing our model. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.